This video is going to be a quick look at some things that a lot of us noticed during the 2021 season. And I say, when I say noticed, I mean talked about in live streams of mine. I saw mentioned in other video comment sections or even on Twitter about not accessing shorter routes within the Ravens passing structure. You know, who do you blame? In some cases, you blame Lamar. There's times where he misses it. I think I think there's larger points there than just blaming Lamar Jackson or blaming Greg Roman. I think that the Ravens' offensive mentality was to push the ball downfield, and there were times that the backside drag release routes just were not a part of the discussion, were not a part of maybe the teaching. And I hope that on a couple of these plays here, I can show you the end zone angle and, and illustrate to you that I have evidence proving that. So I think we got seven plays. Some of them are flood concepts. Some of them are mesh concepts. And they're all going to include a, a backside drag by a receiver on the backside. So what I mean by backside is this, this is going to be the front side of the read. Lamar is going to look here immediately. He's looking at Andrews. It's typical. It's a flood concept. Great catch by Andrews. Wide open. The backside drag is not open here at all. You got the backside safety spinning down to take this, which is kind of crazy because this is this is Eric Tomlinson running a backside drag. He's like our third our third tight end, right? Inside linebackers have this covered. I think you've got a dropping D end out here into the flats to the boundary. You'll see his number. I think it's 55. But in any case, you got a safety spinning down here on the backside. Front side safety staying really high, and Andrews fitting in between the second level and the third level. Kind of, kind of your classic flood concept. You know, nothing to miss there in terms of Lamar at all on the back side of it. Just illustrating for you what we're talking about in terms of the backside drag. Now you've got, I believe, this is a D end here, number 55. Actually, he's an inside backer, my bad. He's an inside backer. Him and 34 are both in great position to defend this backside drag. So there's no, there's nothing that's needed to even look there. Andrews is already over top the second level. Lamar puts some nice touch on it. Perfect ball, easily caught by Mark Andrews. Against Denver, this is a different concept. This is not flood. This is mesh. I'm only going to draw, draw up the two, the two quote mesh routes. You, you know, you've got all kinds of different variations of this one of them you'll see in a moment against the chargers mark andrews is going to run the the sit route um in between the hashes and catch the ball even though the backside drag is open uh, other ones you've got you know you've got a post uh against the colts i think we ran one where andrews goes outside and then runs like a deeper over route so you've got some space between these two routes here and and still got the option to throw it underneath to one of these drags the drags i, th I believe here is prochet and Watkins, and you can see they are doing exactly what they're supposed to do. Pick a defender, but Prochet recognizes I'm wide open. I don't need to do anything with this defender except just catch the football and take off. Great job by him, and he's cap he's a guy who's who's capable of making those adjust. You, by the way, you can see Andrews running out, so there is no there is no complimentary you know angled hook route here, and that could be a read. That could be a read. If you're reading man, you may not take that guy into the middle of the field. That could be a read. Uh, but in any case, Prochet is great at making these, you know, adaptations um, and recognizing what to do. I should say, you know, mid-play, nothing really to adapt on this. 32-yard gain, according to my data up top. You can see the two routes there. So Lamar, clearly, you know, he could throw the ball to this route here, which is, I believe is Watkins. But he sees it. He re But it's a front-side route when I say he sees it. So it's a front-side route. The bunch set is over here. The three guys are over here, so it's a, a, a route that originated from the front side. He could have thrown it to the backside drag, and we probably get a completed pass because that DB, that corner was was trailing in coverage. So we would have been okay with that. But in that situation, obviously, you see the guy who's uncovered. You get him to football. Against Miami, kind of your classic mesh concept here um, with the, the tailback running like a pseudo wheel. And all he's really doing is clearing out this space here by running through that zone. Let's just assume that it is zoned for a moment. And what that typically does, in my experience, is it allows the front side drag to to become open because you, you vacate all this space, and if you get time for the front side drag to get there, there's nobody there. 
Uh, the Ravens didn't hit that a, a ton this year. They did hit against the Raiders, but it was from the slot. Now you can see that if if Lamar is able to get to to this part of the progression, we're we're wide open. But let's you know I, I'm not reactionary from the standpoint of you know, why didn't he throw it to this guy? You got to understand there's progressions one two three. It's got to be it's got to be structured for him to look at something. So he's clearly looking over here somewhere off the jump. Still looking over there. We'll get the end zone angle and it'll be a little bit better resolution. Everything to me has been looking over here. I think he's looking for Marquise Brown. I think he's looking here or here. Because you've got the deeper vertical by Brown. So this is to me, this is just really like levels. I call this levels, but different people call, call it different. Whatever Madden calls it, you might call it something different. So to me, you've got the shallow here. Andrews a little deeper, and then Brown is the inside guy. He's trying to – he's really just clearing it out. So he's looking for Brown slash Andrews, if you ask me, and we're not catching this backside drag at all, um, and, and that's unfortunate. Cause it, and I'm only going to show you seven plays this year, but there was times where it was there, I'd say six, eight times on either mesh concepts or the backside of flood. But our flood hit people so big, you know, when you, obviously you got, you know, you can talk about the elements of this right here if you want to. I've covered the ad nauseum. If you haven't heard me cover what Miami was doing that's different from what other people was doing, you know, I can send you a link in the comments section. I'm not going to make another video talking about how they were reading it and what they were doing that made it a better, a better scheme than the way other people run their, their quote, blitz zero. I just call it sticks because that's what it is. Anyway, there's your two drags there. I think this is Bateman coming from this side. And then I think this is Watkins, or maybe it's Duvernay. I, I, I should should know that. I looked at it a moment ago. Uh, the one that's coming open is Bateman. Will be left to right, but Lamar's not leaving. He's not leaving these reads at all. You know. So here's the shallow drag. There's Andrews over the top of it, and we know somewhere off screen, you know, up in that that direction there is, is Marquise Brown. And they get to him for the sack. I mean, that's one where you'd like to see Lamar work to the shorter guys but he also understands look I've, I I don't have much time but but point being he, he did clearly take a lot of time here um I, I would I would offer that we should get to by about right here if we haven't decided that you know okay we we got nothing here with the tailback we don't think that this is open the shallow drag we're we're still trying to decide between that and and maybe we're looking at this, but I really think that at this point he's just looking. He I really think at this point he's looking for Andrews, and he's trying to read this guy right here. I don't think he's worried about this defender at all. He's just going to throw it over the top of him, just like he did on the last one on an over concept against Detroit on a flood concept. Excuse me. I wish that we were we were here, you know, an instant earlier, maybe somewhere in this area here. If we're not decided yet. I wish we were looking somewhere else. Um, we definitely got to get better on that play. Am I saying it was all Lamar's fault all season? Absolutely not. No. Mm -mm. I think they're coaching him to, to get the ball downfield. I think they want him to get downfield. And he's done it before. He's done it before. Now, this is somewhat similar to Blitz Zero. I think you do have man. These two inside linebackers are, um, are blitzing. This corner drops off. This is Watkins backside against Denver. A little play action. A lot of space here. This safety right here, unbelievably, is running with the running back. You got man here, you got man here, and you got man here. This is cover zero, if you ask me. Now, they do have one guy who's tangling up with Ricard. Let's run it back so you can see the whole thing develop. Watkins wide open. Ball's already out. Boom. Gain of nine on a first and ten. Great play. Great play. So, so Lamar's done this. He's checked the backside X. He's looking at something here. Middle of the field. He sees the blitz, knows, all right, I got Watkins. Bang, easy. If Lamar Jackson does that right there, uh, let's say four times in the first two weeks next year, it'll be a totally different threat for this offense because we'll have people understanding he's going to hit the backside drag. Now, again, a set, it's a release route. It's not the front. It's not the front side of the route on some of the stuff that I just showed you. Having said that, 
you know, there are times where it is actually part of the design of the play to hit the backside drag. So this is Watkins up here in, in the slot. And I believe that Watkins is, is the primary design of this play. I know I've been talking for 10 minutes. And we only got to like five plays. I'm not one of them people that's just going to show you one play. Like certain other people that got way more followers than me, they're going to they're gonna give you one play and talk about that one play. Make sure it gets past the eight-minute mark so it's monetized material and just hope you watch the hell out of it. I'm going to try to give you multiple plays and concepts strung together. Hope you appreciate it. And this one, I believe, is a little different from some of the other ones. I was touching on it before, before I started ranting. This is, I believe, the design of the play is to get the drag. I think these two routes here are just clear-out routes. I call them go-switch. Typically a go, you know, a vertical. And a vertical, I know i got a lot of lines up here. But as you can see, they're switching their routes right here. I just call it go switch. Some people, I think, um, I think you actually end up getting like a little bit of a post here at the end. But we just call it a go switch in our system. So, but there's, that's a clear out. That's a clear out. They're, they're occupying this defender and this defender with these two receivers. And then the drag to Watkins hits big. Big on like a second and 12, second and, second and 13. It's on screen. I'm not even looking at my own material. It's, um. It's a great concept. Clear out route. Lamar gets it to him. When we get the end zone angle, we'll check out, you know, where he was looking initially. But let's look, let's look at the other routes real quick. I think you got, boom. I think you got that. The drag. And then I believe Andrews is on something like this, which is pretty much his route, is the main part of his route tree. All right, so he's sitting up. This is wonderful. I like this. He's, he's checking up here. To, to hold this linebacker and then make this make this more open than it already is. He's holding K.J. Wright, and then Sammy Watkins just runs away from K.J. Wright. K.J. Wright, good player, but out in that space, Sammy Watkins got a huge advantage over him. Let's check Lamar's eyes. We know that Andrews is something like – oh, excuse me. That's, that's poorly drawn. Andrews is something like this, and then checking up from the backside, we got this drag by Watkins underneath. And then over here to this side, we got the two clear out routes. What I told you um, in the system I'm familiar with is called Go Switch. Mar looks like he's trying to escape Crosby. No surprise. Now he was he was looking here. He was looking over here first. I think he's checking. I believe that what he's checking is to make sure them guys over here ain't sitting. I think he's trying to make sure they're not sitting. So like. As the ball is snapped, I think he's trying to make sure nobody's just spinning down and sitting in this area, which is where the dra now I'm, I'm kind of trying to justify my point that the this drag on this play is different because a it's from the slot and b I believe it's part of the design. I could be wrong. Uh, I'm willing to admit I could be wrong. Just tell me in the comment section if you think I'm wrong. But there's nothing else for him to read over here. If it's go switch. Over here, there's there's nothing for him to read unless he's just reading. Okay, is a man, and I can go vertical up top with this thing. He, in any case, if that if that's true, then this is great. He came back to this this drag late. Wonderful. That shows you know that he can do some of the things people say he can't do. First, first of all, we're Ravens fans, and I'm realistic. I think he can do them, and I think he has done them. Here's illustration point number two. In both cases, it was Sammy Watkins. The previous play against the Denver Broncos. This one against the Raiders. So early in the season. Uh, obviously, it is a huge issue that we're just getting a fake fake swipe down whiff on us. And Lamar, I mean, there there is absolutely no way that after seeing something like this on film, and Lamar Jackson's a team player, he's not going to say anything, but there is no way he doesn't sit there and think, damn, I am not going to have as much time as they tell me I'm going to have if they leave him one-on-one -on -one with dudes like this. And Max Crosby is a real good player. I'm in the middle of a film study on him. Wonderful player. Really like him, like his story, like his motor. But he's not a top six or eight edge rusher, outside linebacker, D-end in the NFL in terms of sacks. Great player. Really like him. But evidence right there, at least the second time in this video, that Lamar Jackson can hit the backside drag as a, as a release, as a check down, you know, later later in the um, in the progression. And I don't really, to be honest with you, believe the backside drag is a part of the progression all the time. It, it's there, but I really don't think it's being coached into him to get to that. Um, and this is an example of him. We're in empty here. DuVernay is motioning. You got the backside drag by, guess who? Watkins. Lamar's looking over to the front side first. 
He, he looked over here first. Now his eyes appear to be looking here, middle of the field. He's got nothing there. We've got this breaking wide open now. This is a huge gain. You got backs turned running here, backs turned running here. This is a 15-yard gain, easy, for Sammy Watkins. And Lamar takes off running. I mean, he's electric. He's unbelievable. He's been the best athlete on the field every level of football he's ever played. Not going to criticize a guy for, for doing this, but there have to be times where we run. Okay, Lamar, we missed this. All right, we missed it. Fine. Cool. We were looking for something else. We coached you all week on, you know, whatever we coached on. We, Hey, dude, we're going get, to get this route here in this formation against this coverage. And we didn't get that route. It, it didn't come open. Fine. Whatever. Guess what, though? Next possession, Lamar, we're coming back to this play. And we want to see you get the ball to Watkins on the drag. And and that's coaching. That's coming back to it. And um, I didn't see that. I didn't see a lot of that. I didn't see times where we ran something like this. And Lamar didn't um, get the ball to him. So let's, let's put the onus on Lamar there. Okay, fine. And then one or two possessions later, we come back to it. And we put, and then we really put a spotlight on him. Hey, dude, now we're telling you. Now we're telling you. Go ahead and get the ball to him. And if and if we can't because of pressure, okay, fine. We can't because of pressure. Or if we can't because the front side of the routes, somebody springs open, you throw it there, okay, fine. That's fine too. You know, but if we do, if neither of those two things happen and we still don't get the ball to this backside drag, that's on you. But I didn't see that. I didn't see that. I'm not saying I didn't see the conversation from the coaches. I mean, how the hell do you see that? I'm saying I didn't see those things called again you know, to force him to do so. But, look, I, what I should do is go find 2019-2020 film of him going ahead and hitting that backside drag some, and then we can just end this conversation, you know, completely. But a couple of people have asked for this um, in comment sections. I thought it would be, you know, worthy of some attention. Uh, this is a video that went on a little bit longer than I wanted to, especially only covering seven plays, 17 minutes. Um, I'd like to be a little, little shorter than that if I was only talking about seven plays. You guys let me know what you think of the video, my breakdown. If there's some elements that you think I missed, that's fine. You know, I may have missed certain route comp complementary routes that, um, that you pick up on because you watch it, you know, a couple of times or whatever. Uh, or there may be things that, you know, the other plays that you remember. This was only seven plays. And in my database, I went and found, you know, two concepts. I found uh, flood concepts. And I found, oh, you might not be able to see it because of the background, and I found mesh concepts. So I can go in the database and I can search for other concepts depending on what I have them named. What I have them named might be something different from what you call things. So if you have a particular concept or play you want me to try to find um, and do something on, please let me know. Appreciate you guys checking out the video. Let me know what you think of my film breakdown of it. Uh, and, and how I do things in terms of concepts, because I've been watching a lot. I have actually been watching other people's stuff in the last week. Man, a lot of people get away with just showing y'all one or two plays, and that's it. EA just, uh, Edgar Allen just released a video on Josh Bynes, showed like six or eight plays, showing what he can do. Maybe it wasn't six or eight, maybe it was five. But in any case, he's not just giving you one play, talking for eight minutes about that play. Sip to Tally will always give six or eight plays, if not more. And if he's talking about, you know, some run concepts or whatever he's presenting, uh, there's other people, not Ravens content creators, I'm not talking about them, that'll give you one play, and all they're just trying to do is put out as much monetized shit as possible, try to get people to watch them. Support Ravens content creators. If it ain't me, support some of them other guys I mentioned, Huddle Up Films or other dudes. Let me know what you think of my film. Break down in the comment section.